Hello, and welcome to Secured Signings, How to Set Up and Enable Remote Online Notarization, or RON. In this session, we will guide you through the steps that you need to know when setting up and enabling RON with Secured Signings All-in-One eNotary Platform. These include enabling eNotary, purchasing secured signing credits for eNotary add-ons, uploading your eNotary seal and signature, enabling video storage, plus other settings. Okay, let's begin. Step 1. Log in to your secured signing account. Step 2. Open your eNotary settings. Click on My Account, My Settings, eNotary. Step 3. Enable eNotary. Click the eNotary button. By enabling eNotary, you agree to eNotary terms of use. Step 4. You will need to buy secured signing credits. Click Buy Secured Signing Credits. From the drop-down list, choose a selected amount of credit that you would like to purchase. You can also select Auto Top-Up. Auto Top-Up ensures you always have credit on hand when conducting an RON session. As you can see, your secured signing credits will be allocated according to which features you used during your RON session. For example, Notary Seal, Video Signing, KBA, ID Verification, or SMS. If for some reason you don't go ahead with your RON session, all unused allocated credit will be credited back to your account once the signing process has expired. Once you have selected the amount of credits you would like to purchase, and if you want to use Auto Top Up, click Pay. You will be directed to a Secured Signing Payment checkout to finalize your payment. Enter your details and click Submit. Now that you're all set up with credit, time to set up your eNotary seal and signature to ensure your credibility. Step 5. Now you will need to upload your eNotary seal provide your commission ID number and commission ID expiry date, and capture your eNotary signature. To upload your eNotary seal, click Upload eNotary Seal and choose the file on your computer. Insert your commission ID number and commission expiry date. Please note that if an expired notary seal is used or if the commission ID is shown to have expired, the RON process cannot proceed until a valid commission ID is used. Now you will need to capture your eNotary signature. Click Capture eNotary Signature. Here you will be given the option to capture your eNotary signature by mouse, upload, or mobile ePad. Use one of the given options and click Save once completed. Not many steps to go now. Step 6. Now you will need to enable video signing for the remote online notarization process. Click Enable Video Signing. You will need to choose a recording storage location. We recommend selecting your country of origin. Enable Recording Archive Storage. If you enable recording storage, this will be an additional cost of $5 per month. This is a flat cost. It doesn't increase as you add more videos. The next option will be Enable Recording Link in Signed Document. This means that whoever has access to the signed document can also view the recording of the RON session. By default, it is off. Only two more steps to go. Step 7. Now we need to set up any extra settings that you may require. Stamped documents sent to invitee by is set to come from the notary public by default. Invitee authentication type is used to authenticate and verify the signee's identity during the RON process. For meeting RON requirements in many states, we recommend selecting here both KBA and ID verification. We also provide SMS as a third option for verification if needed. For a more detailed explanation on KBA or ID verification, see our KBA tutorial or ID verification tutorial videos. ID verification settings allow you to choose if the RON session will continue or stop based on the outcome of the ID matching. First, you want to choose which part of the ID needs to match the details you have on hand, selecting a matching option from the drop-down box. Next, select which outcome you would like to proceed with. If the ID is not a match, select Continue or Stop. By default, it is set to Continue. Secured Signing also provides Facial Match. If the signee's face does not match with the ID you have been given, you can choose to Continue or Stop. By default, it is set to Continue. Click Save Extra Setting. Only one more step. Now to set up your digital certificate. For a full explanation on digital certificates, see our How to Set Up Your Digital Certificate video. A digital certificate protects you against digital tampering and creates a non-repudiable, legally binding document, which relying parties can trust. You can choose to use Secured Signing Issued Digital Certificate. This is automatically provided out of the box, at no additional cost. 
Secured Signing has also partnered with IdenTrust, a federal bridge approved provider for digital certificates, which some states require. Click this link and follow the instructions to get your IdenTrust digital certificate today. Click on the Setup Certificate and follow the steps based on the digital certificate that you purchased. Now you are all set up and ready to prepare for your first RON session. Thank you for watching Secured Signings How to Set Up and Enable RON.